And we are covering Colorado first at six. One of the most complete dinosaur skeletons ever discovered is right here along our front range. And now scientists have made another remarkable find at that dig site in Thornton, a tooth from a T-Rex. And CBS4 is proud to partner with the Denver Museum of Nature and Science to bring you exclusive access to this historic discovery. Sam Bush live at the museum right now with a closer look at these fossils, Dan. And Karen, tonight maybe we are uncovering Colorado first. As you mentioned, over the next few weeks, we'll have a series of exclusive, in-depth stories all about this discovery. Now let's get to some of the fun stuff. Here are some of the bones that have already been pulled out of the ground, and they are back here at the museum. What you're looking at are a couple of the rib bones. These were actually some of the first fossils that were pulled out of the ground and brought back here for examination. Now we have been out on the dig site with the museum basically from the beginning. Normally, when a dinosaur is discovered. It's just one bone here or there, but not the case on this find. New bones are being found almost on the hour. This is, as you mentioned, one of the richest, most complete dinosaur discoveries in the history of the region. And that is really saying something for paleontology. The first triceratops ever found was here in Denver back in 1887. But this one is bigger, and it's even surprised paleontologists with what it might have to reveal. For, uh, for understanding what their environment was like. How much can you learn from this skeleton? Well, we're starting to find other parts in this, this site now. So we have a T-Rex tooth. We're starting to piece together the ecosystem. We've got plants. Uh, we really have a good idea of what Thornton looked like 66 million years ago. And here is a live look out to the dig site in Thornton right now. As I mentioned, paleontologists continue to find more bones. Today we understand they uncovered just about under a dozen new ribs. So this dinosaur is really starting to fill itself in and they're getting a better idea of what that whole area used to look like. And Thornton is really starting to catch dinosaur fever. I want to show you this. This is what the logo for Thornton looks like normally. You see the roads going crossways there. Well, some Someone at the city decided to have a little fun and they made this uh, Triceratops version of the logo. But I don't know uh, what you guys think back in the city. Oh, I think it's good enough where maybe they should keep it for real. Now, coming up tonight at 10, we will have a sneak peek of all of the access that we've had on the site and for those stories that you'll see in the coming weeks. For now, we're live at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. Stan Bush covering Colorado First. Stan, exciting to follow along. Thank you. Now to